if you feel like giving me a lifetime of devotion, I second that emotion. But second the emotion, I'm putting five thousand dollars in my money on the line. I give it to these three contestants, so a, a strange chance they go all the way for me if they're smart enough, quick enough, and lucky enough. Now let's turn the Siskel to my Ebert, Jimmy Kimmel, and find out who these people are. Well, we have four Paramount movies to show today, and they are Election. Erection. No, Election. I thought you said Erection, Jimmy. Stop fantasizing about my ding dong. Fuck you. <laughs> But we also have the general's daughter, who Rob did it with last night. <laughs> I, uh, Just kidding! That's <laughs> true. I got you, we Rob. Had, we had strawberries, chocolates, I had candles. Or are you mixing the general's daughter up with the runaway bride? Huh? Or are you mixing up the general's daughter with the runaway bride? I don't know. And we also have Double Jeopardy, which is in no relation to the second round of the main game of Jeopardy. The girl's daughter of the bride, Jimmy. What's that for a <laughs> Not going to think about that. But I'll tell you this. In the next part, we have three movies to show. What are they? Bringing Out the Dead. Starring Nicolas Cage. Angela's Ashes. Told me by Universal. And the talented Mr. Ripley. Starring Matt Damon. Uh-huh. And we're going to take a look at the opening to Election First, which has all sorts of Paramount comedy movies available, including A Night at the Roxbury. Correct me if I'm wrong, Robert. Did you say that there was three movies or four movies? For the next part? Yes. Three. They have some good openings, too, so. That's all? Yup. But the openings are a pretty good length, so we're good. Okay. But Election stars Matthew Broderick and Reese Witherspoon. He said Erection. Stop fantasizing about my ding-dong. Yo, yeah, everybody around the world is going to know that you just said that. <laughs> yeah? So? <laughs> uh, I don't do that stuff. I'm just messing with you. Real funny. I wanted to get a reaction out of you. You got a reaction out of me, all right. So did. You already know. Here comes the Paramount Pictures logo for Election. And then I think MTV Films co-made this movie. I want to yes. check and be sure. Yep, show did. Or is it MTV Productions? Yeah, MTV Productions. My bad. Now on to The General's Daughter. It stars John Travolta. What did you think of John Travolta's performance? Good. What makes you scream? Well, we have Kiss the Girls, Dead Again, Primal Fear, Sliver, Rosemary's Baby, Breakdown, Switchback, Event Horizon, The Ghost in the Darkness, The Firm, Nick of Time, Witness, The Relic, Snake Eyes, Fatal Attraction. That movie scared the shit out of me. Thrilling movies and thrilling prices. Stay tuned for a special presentation after the movie. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. A rock strip and shitting his pants because he saw Fatal Attraction. Now who would want to watch that? <laughs> a 42-year-old... Man, child from Chicago and Tom Green. Oh, yeah. And there's the Paramount logo for the General's Daughter, which almost takes up the entire screen. And next on deck, we have Runaway Bride, co-made by Touchstone Pictures. Honey, would you like some sausage? Honey, would you like some sausages? Honey, would you like some sausages? Coming to theaters. Sausages? Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon movies. Oh, it's Rugrats in Paris, the movie. And all sorts of uh, other movies available on video. I am fully made aware that it was my idea to watch Freddy Dark Jr. 
<laughs> well, I thought about it, but that's okay. Stay tuned for a special presentation after the movie. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. And I remember seeing Runaway Bride in theaters. Oh, you did? Yeah, with my mom and sister. Oh, wow. Yeah, and we're going to look at the Paramount Pictures logo and Touchstone Pictures logo for this film. Was it just after you saw the haunting in theaters? It was before. Oh. There's the Paramount Pictures logo, and here comes the Touchstone Pictures logo. Same theater? No, I saw Runaway Bride at the uh, Hollywood Theaters in Tyler, but The Haunting and the Sixth Sense I saw in the Cinema 4 in Athens. Oh. Yep. Now on to Double Jeopardy. Wait, did you say Hollywood Theaters? Yes, there's a Hollywood Theaters in Tyler, but it's no longer open. Was that local? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? Like, uh, like Cinema 4? Yeah, that was local. You could have saw Spencer Gadget at Hollywood Theaters. Could have, but I never saw it in theaters, unfortunately. I did. At United Artists Theaters inside University Hall. Mm-hmm. And then here's the Paramount Pictures logo for Double Jeopardy, which almost takes up the entire screen. And for those of you, uh... Uh, don't know what I'm talking about. University Mall is a local mall in the Pensacola area. That's right. And we're going to see you all for the next part of those movies in the next video. Catch you later. See ya.